turning back now Round and round like a horse on a carousel What is up everyone, today I got another PVM video for you guys. We are about to hunt for another hour on a specific boss. So as in the first video that you saw regarding the Phoenix, we killed the Phoenix boss for one hour long and at the end we kind of showed the loot that we got from it plus the key opening from the souls so that's what we're gonna do in part two as well since this is part two of course and not to forget in this video we will also be announcing the giveaway winners at the end of the video so if you wanna know who's winning then you gotta stay for this video or just scroll to the end that's up to you but right now we're gonna jump in the video we're gonna uh, take in the drop table from this day from this video's boss and see what he can drop. And the boss which we're gonna kill in this episode will be Venonatus. Venonatus is a wilderness boss. In Dreamscape the boss isn't that hard but you gotta watch out because it is in the wilderness. I'm lucky because we can kill it in the owner cape zone so we can get more kills in. That's the whole reason. I want to show you guys as many kills as possible otherwise it would be pretty boring. So therefore I chose for the owner cape zone. So we're gonna kill Venonatus and we're gonna take a look at its drop table. Alright, so the mistake that I made in the previous video is that I forgot about the soul system. The soul system takes over on all the common and uncommon drops and it increases your uh, chance of getting a rare or ultra rare drop. So therefore we can only just look at the rares and the ultra rares because the other drops are going to be souls, I guess. So therefore let's see, we got the full 24k Torva set which would be sick. A uh, black dragon shield, a bloodless godsword, which I wouldn't really uh, want to be honest. So we also got a couple of troll drops, I guess, at 10 mil coins. But also the blue fire rings, which is pretty cool. Deadly spear, some D bone, nothing that interesting. The dual reapers do look pretty cool, and just a lot of drops. Like we can go through every single one of them, but that it's gonna add another five minutes to the video. So basically, a Venonatus pet would be pretty sick, and maybe some rare drops. We'll, we'll just see. It's for me the first time really actually killing it, because uh, I've not really been a PVMer throughout Dreamscape. So uh, we'll see. We'll just go kill it. Uh, don't I look really sick in this outfit? I was just. Uh, making it and I was like wow this actually fits all so let me hear your opinion regarding this outfit I would love to because I think I, I kind of dig it though the colors are pretty sick I look I look like a real freaking warrior so let's go a textile and kill those Fenonatis alright guys so we are 15 minutes in we are almost at 170 kills which is sick but the respawn time is immense over here. I can kill them really easily. And I also switch to the AK-47. Because as you can see I can just stand and I don't have to walk to every NPC. So this is way more efficient. Oops, that was a Callisto, my bad. So uh, yeah, we got almost 600 souls as well within 15 minutes. So that's going to be a lot of keys hopefully. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy to kill boss, especially because we are at the owner cape zone. But um, yeah, the respawn time is really quick, so I keep on killing, and that's why my kill count is already so high. But no drop yet, which I kind of bail on. I really wanted to have a drop already, but uh, well, we hope to get another drop in the first 15 minutes. Oops, that was another Callist, so he's standing so close as well. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on killing and hope for the best, hope for a good drop, that would be really sick. So uh, yeah, let's go and PVM some more. Alright, so we are like, um, not sure, not even a half an hour in, I think close to almost 1000 souls and we just gotten a key fragment. So that's the first cool drop that we have gotten, nothing uh, further yet from our Venonatus friend. The scary spider, the wilderness boss, but uh, we got like 1,000. I think that we're gonna get a lot, around 10 keys from this boss at the end. So that's gonna be an epic opening, and I really hope that we can get a drop. He had such a huge drop table on a wiki, so I really hope that we can get a drop from it. 
and as you can see we can kill him really fast with this golden AK-47 so so far one key fragment part and uh, that was it 1000 souls finally we just got another drop <laughs> We got the black dragon shield. Oh, that looks amazing. On kill count 373, we got our first rare. I think it's a rare drop. Let me check. Yes, it's a rare drop. Oh, it looks so cool. Finally, almost 1200 souls, but there we go. We just got our first rare drop. Oh man, I'm so glad that we finally got a drop. We are like a half an hour in right now, so this is just 50% of what you are about to see. I really hope to get another drop. That would be insane. That pet would be the most sexy drop that I could get from this beast. So let's go for that. Let's grind some more and I'll hit you guys up within 15 minutes. I am gonna end the killing over here. We have 650 kills in around one hour of time on fully concentrating on killing these Venonatis. 650 kills within an hour, that's pretty awesome. We got one rare drop which is the Black Dragon Shield and we got 2.2k Venonatis souls which we can exchange in the soul room. What we're gonna do right now, so let's teleport there and uh, let's combine this into 11 keys pretty pretty pink keys over there 7 8 9 10 and 11 and we got 23 left so we got 11 keys let's just clean our whole inventory and armor real quick we are empty and the only thing that we got left are these 11 venonatus keys and i really hope that we can get a cool loot from that so let's search for our venonatus friend there he is we could get a black dragon shield which we have already gotten or the venonatus egg as possible extra rare loot so I really hope to get that egg, that would be intense. So let's start opening the first key. A Carol Scare, are you kidding me? God damn it. Uh, Vanguard Gloves, Gillet Full Helm. All right, so, so far it's all crap, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, primal Gauntlets, all right, they're not that bad, let's see. Chaotic Claws, they just look really cool. That's around 200 bill. A fucking fox. Uh, Torax, Play Buddy, and a Gunsport. Alright, so this is total crap. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm not gonna lie, I really hope that we could have gone a bit more from 2.2k Fan and Audit Souls instead of some Barrow's crap, which is like not even one coin a piece, so this is nothing, plus the Fox, that's also nothing. I would say the Primal Warhammer would be 1 bill, this would be 10 bill, 5 bill, 1 bill, and... 25, so not even a hunter bill over here. I know that the Venonatus is not the hardest boss and it's just for one hour, but this I really hope to get something more. So the total lootation from this boss would be let's see this uh the black guardian shield which would be one trail that's pretty decent. Uh two key fragments. I hope that we can open the box in the next episode. We got 23 souls left and this is not a lot, most likely junk. I like the primal gauntlets though and the chaotic claws. So that was it guys, this is episode number two of the uh, one hour loot from a boss series. This time it was the Venonatus. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, then don't forget to uh, forget to leave a like also comment down below on your thoughts what would be a cool boss for the next episode let me know maybe your ID will be chosen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated with the latest content I want to see you guys in the next video